Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming January 14th to the 20th. Um, and I'm using a kit from Scribble Prints Co. that came out what feels like a lifetime ago because it was their last summer release, which is the um, Amanda Mini Kit. Oh, that cellar was stuck down real hard. Um, and I believe this art was by Kittenish Chess. And I'm pulling in the Peach 2.0 Washi by Simply Gilded and the the 15 millimeter and the five millimeter white with gold bows. So they both got like gold bows. So, um, so this is very like Martha's Vineyard inspired. I was gonna pull in like maybe the black with the white stripe, but then I was like, no, nah, it's got a navy stripe through it, not a black stripe. And I wanted to bring in the gold. So I, these were the ones that work best. So there's that. And I didn't get like the nautical one. Oh, look, we've got some bows. Oh, and then we've got a little munchkins and a glitter freebie. So that's that. Um, there's not actually much planned for this week. I've got my notes here on a little sticky pad. I'm gonna wash it to my wall so I can see what's happening. Um, I think I've got more TV shows going on next week than I do actual plans, which is really sad. But um, anyway, that's life. So how's everybody been? it's all been good it's Thursday morning here it's the 10th of January it's bright and early and I just got back from collecting my fruits and vegetables for the week which is very exciting um, what am I doing eating mm, do I need to do I need to cover this yeah I'm going to because it's got some lighter colors in it um, so yes this morning I'm off to the optometrist and then I'm going to spend some time with my mom later. This isn't rolling very well. I'm only about halfway through it. Um, so last night I stayed up until like 2 a.m. Um, reading, finishing book four in the Outlander series. So I knew, so I now know what happens. And I'm not going to spoil it in the end of season four of Outlander, which is very exciting. very exciting. I just had a brainwave. I need to write something down. Where's my little book? Oh, I don't know where my little book is. Oh. Write it on a post-it. When you get those inspirations to design later, you've got to write them down. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm not going to spoil it, but I'm just happy. I'm happy with the ending. So I'm, I like to read on my phone. I know that sounds really bad, but, um, I like the fact that you can change the colors on the screen so that it, it just helps my eyes adjust a bit better and all that kind of stuff. And I can read in bed and it doesn't, it doesn't affect Terry like with the light or anything like that. And he likes to, um, he sleeps better when I'm in bed, so it's easier for both of us. So I think I'll wait till next week to purchase the next book. Um, so, yep, yeah, I'll start book five hopefully next week. All of a sudden, I'm just very inspired to read again. I think it's the book series, to be honest. It um, It's very easy to read because I read it in... When I read um, books that I've like seen TV shows or movies before, I read it like in the voice, like I hear the voice of the characters that they've play picked for the movies. I don't know if anybody else does that or if it's just me being special. Um, so I'm just trimming the bottom washi, the Simply Gilded washi before I move on because it annoys me otherwise. So yeah, I, I don't know if I'm the only one that does that, like that hears the characters in their head when they're reading. So last night I was hearing that um, Sam, is it Sam Hugan? I think that's his name. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but anyway, like two o'clock in the morning, that wasn't anything to complain about. There's a piece of fluff there. So yes, 
that was that was nice. I'm not gonna complain about that. Um, I don't think I'll be like an avid reader. I don't think I have the patience to be like set myself a reading challenge or anything for the year. But I think it might be nice just to read for leisure again. I know a lot of people are like, oh, hard copy books, but they just take up so much physical space and. While I can get them on my phone, I think I will do that. And then I can read them on my iPad or my computer. And then they can just be like portable across my devices. So now I'm going to do the bottom washi sticker. And I was playing around with different like combinations of washi last night. I like to like pre-plan the night before like my actual plans for the week and then like my actual like washies and stuff like that I find it just saves me time in the morning because quite often when I plan on Thursday mornings I'm poor of time shall we say um like this morning I've only got about an hour to sit down and do this before I have to go do stuff for the day and then I won't really get back here until like Friday morning and that might seem like a lot of time for some people but when you're really getting into it, it's not really a lot of time. P.S. I love this method. It is so much easier than trying to guess where to cut it and then cutting it wonky. This is just such a lifesaver. So thank you, Jasenia, for coming up with this method. <laughs> Cutting bottom washi. Which is a lifesaver. That way you get your spacing right as well and all that kind of stuff. So yes, I definitely enjoy this one a lot more. It is trickier on this side because you've got to space it a lot further. But I find if you just give it one really good push with your slice tool, whatever you're using, it will and then bend it backwards, you'll just get a fairly clean cut like that. Such as that, and that's not exactly straight, but we'll, we'll roll with it. As for the order of the boxes, I haven't given it any thought at all. I don't only think that far ahead. Come on now. Let's just put that double box on the weekend. There isn't really a lot going on this week, so it doesn't really matter where they go. Um, I think I will definitely separate the girls, but I'm going to put this girl here on this side of the page, just because she's got the same, like, um building in the background so I think we'll keep them separate so let's put this lot of girls here I know it's very fashion girl heavy but you can't have it all I'm afraid maybe we can put the lighthouse whoop, 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 whoop. no you don't there we go Nearly had a disaster there because it's an older sticker, it lifted easily. Probably should have those gales all the way around having a look at the lighthouse, but anyway. I'm gonna put this fashion girl in the middle just to break up the the boxes a little bit. And then Can we do Let's put the shoes here and then like the cup here and then the seashells can go up here because they're actually really cute. All 
not just whiting out these lines because they don't work with me. But they do at the same time. Should have whited out the top ones more than the side ones. What was I thinking, folks? It's being an older sticker, it will lift up very easily though. The adhesive on the stickers does eventually wear off, but it's still workable. I'm just gonna do that. Get a flag sticker. I think we'll pull the dark blue for this corner. I'm sorry if you can hear any like weird humming. I don't know if it'll come up through camera, but I can hear it in the room. Um, the speakers got left on, like the audio speakers, and I can hear it and it's kind of annoying me. So if I can hear it, I figure you guys will eventually, you might be able to hear it. Anyway, I'm just gonna trim that really quickly so it doesn't get stuck on anything. So that's all the full boxes down. Um, this kit is older, so it's actually got the washi strips here rather than the extra full box, which is fine because it's all good. I'm going to do the sidebar. sidebars and he's whiting out and you, you all know how much I love those oh that's so crooked Whew. let's try and fix that problems all right I think I'm gonna try and use this washi maybe rather than the um, simply gilded one we'll see we need some dinners oh goody it's a different color that's what I like to see Do you guys, what do you guys have to track in your sidebar? Like, do you track like your meals or do you track like happy mail or exercise or what do you track? I track my exercise in my notes page actually, just because it's just where it works best for me. And then I might do, cause these two, these two here are like the same size. So I might actually put the headers in these instead. Because normally what I do for a, and I don't think I've got one here, I normally um, do this kind of thing, but I might do something kind of different today and put the headers in these stickers. Do like a to-do, is that what I normally do, like to-do in this week? Might put like a... do in a work and use the work for like Etsy to do oh she's gonna be tight she's gonna be real tight And work. I'm gonna bump that up a bit. Oh, 
yeah, I'm going to cut some of that off. I think I sliced my page too, just so you know. Oh, are you serious? Like it peeled only really the top layer of the sticker up. First world problems, girls. First world problems. That'll do. It's white. It works. It fits. That is the best sidebar I think I've done in ages. That's exciting. Okay. If there's no deco. No, there is deco, so I won't do date covers. Let's do glitter headers. I'm going to do them off camera and I'll be back. Okay, my glitter headers are done. So we're going to move on to day by day. And a lot of people have been like talking lately about like refreshing the planner styles and everything for the new year. And I'm kind of like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I, I don't want to do that. Like I'm, I'm set with my planner style and my ways and I think I'm happy with it. Like some people are setting like planner goals and like working on things. Have you done that? Like totally fine if you are. Like that's great. Like I know that I'm never going to get better at my handwriting and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to leave it as is and be done with it. So so I think this week I might use the um, art checklist because they're in the kit and that's exciting for like my TV shows. Um, so I need three for Monday. I haven't had a checklist to play with in a little while actually. So we use those. So anyway, I'm just kind of like, yeah, no, I'm good. Uh, I think I'll stick with my like, just how I'm planning now. And if there's something that grabs my attention during the year, I might be like, yep, I'm gonna do that. So also on Monday, like I need to make sure my fruit and veg pre-orders in because I order, obviously I collect my fruit and veg pre-order on Thursdays mornings. And I just need to make sure that's, that's in by Monday. It's due Tuesday, but I like to have it in by Monday. And I have three TV shows on Tuesday. three of them. I'm just literally going down the list of um, headers. I'm not actually picking colours or anything like that. Um, and I also have Tess Sabri Tuesday morning. So we'll give that a half box. I'm going to grab this one. It's pretty much my morning done. And I also have a bill due Tuesday. My Optus bill is due. So I'm just going to put a little thingamabob here, remember my bill is due, and then it's also payday for Terry. Is there a little payday thing anywhere? I don't think so. Oh, that's a, it's blue. Ugh. That is frustrating. What else could I use? Mm, 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 mm. I might take this up. I might just... Um... That's really annoying. They're both blue. Oh my goodness. I was going to use the phone for one and the thingo for the other. Why? <laughs> I'm going to pop that on a spare sheet. I'm going to use um, TVs. I'm going to get the green one and the pink one. I'm going to put the green one here. And we're going to use the payday. Oh, that's right next to the other one. I'm going to get the other one here. Pop that there. Because I don't know what the afternoon will hold. And I'm going to get little icons. And I'm going to put payday. And a phone like that. I'm gonna get a sticker from my other binder later. There's nothing on in the afternoon. Wednesday, I have three TV shows again. 
all the TV shows are back from their like winter break, their Christmas break, whatever they call it, which is very exciting. I have things to do again. No, um, just keep means that there'll be background noise, which is nice. And whack that there. And Wednesday, I'll probably do grocery shopping as well as go to the physio and the OT. So. I'm going to use this one for my morning appointment and then I'm going to use a label for my grocery shopping and I'm going to leave the afternoon free. Get down there. Like that. Then I'm going to flip to Thursday. And I have one, two, three, four TV shows. Here off my phone and realize I left it in the other room, so that's alright. It'll make noises if it wants to. Um, four TV shows. I have to collect my fruit and veg. It's always exciting. So I'm gonna get a label for that. And then I have a bill do. my Simply Gilded subscription come out. I might use like a little thing and put like a washi stack or something over it. There, that'll work. That's cute. I'll do that. And then I have the cleaner coming as well. Do I have any cleaning? Stickers. Probably not really. This is like an older format um, kit. So, what am I going to use for the cleaner, guys? Excuse me. You want to buy This is what I get for staying up late. I tired. I think I'm going to use another little thing. I think I'm going to use like a blue TV and just put it this way Then I'll get a sticker over the top of that. And then I've got one, two, three, four TV shows on Friday. I'm going to skip a header because it's the same, a heart checklist because it's the same colour. We don't want that, do we? We've kept it all uneven. So far, and then I have new releases in the shop. I'm gonna mark, um, oops, that's another sticker that I can use. I'm going to mark, um, filming. I normally do it Thursday, but I always mark it on Friday because it fits. <laughs> that, and new releases, and I need to report my income. So I'm gonna do, yeah, this side. Like that. I have one TV show on Saturday. My neighbours are awake. I 
have a bill um my adobe bill comes out on saturday morning well it comes out on the 19th so i don't know when it'll actually come out whenever it feels like it probably and i have a birthday it's my cousin's birthday and i think i'm just going to put a label down for that i think i'll just put the green glittery one I'm going to put in before I forget the film edit upload sticker for I just put it on a Sunday so that I don't forget to do my video and it just always fits on the Sunday and I need to provide some other stickers now like weekend banners and bits and pieces to cover up all these other things so I'm going to go do that off camera and I'll be back all right, I'm back and I have a huge pile of stickers. It got me thinking, I saw Andrea do this a while ago and I actually have the same like weekend banners in my shop as she does with that font that matches her like weekend banners. So I thought I'd overlay and try overlay and see if mine were the same size. And they actually are. And I did it without even trying. And as you can see here, I very poorly overlaid the um, sticker. There is a tiny bit of a misalignment here, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to try it. It's pretty much, um, yeah, it matches quite well. So if you want to get the weekend banner with twirls in my shop to match the um, weekend banners in the Scribble Prince Co. kit, you are more than welcome to. Um, they overlay perfectly when you don't have shaky hands like I do. But I'm going to go place that down now before I forget, and then we're going to get into this humongous pile of stickers here. So I'm just going to lift it up like that. And to be honest with you, the cut lines are almost identical as well. And I'm going to place that now down the bottom here. Probably about there. Cute. Okay. So what's on top? Physical therapy and occupational therapy. Well, they're on Wednesday. And this sheet has seen better days. Um, trust me, when you buy them from my shop, they look much nicer. And they're on clear paper. Done. Ty Sabri is on a Tuesday morning. And like I said last time I played with this sticker sheet, I'm pretty sure I foiled the only one that didn't cut properly. But I can custom these to match like your other infusions and things like that. Oh, that's why I didn't use that one here, righto. You just have to kind of roll the sticker sheet a bit, which is common. I'm sorry I had to watch that. I'm gonna get a little IV bag today because I feel like it. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Are you freaking serious? You don't want to actually come. They can't. They just... I don't want to come off. There we go. Pop that up the top there. Cute. Alright, sidebar. You know I do it every week. Cut 
coffee. Meds. And these stickers are from Luscious Labels, these little pill ones. And we're going to get my bow sticker from Scribble Prints Co. Grabbed a medium one by the way and chucking it in the corner. I got these little doodles from Coffee Monsters Co. I'm going to get like a little healthy one. These are the healthy ones obviously. I'm just going to pick like one of them to remind me about my fruit and veg order. Um, I grabbed these little party animals to remind me about my cousin's birthday. Um, so the colours somewhat match. Which one am I going to pick? I think I'm going to pick the sloth. Pop the sloth there. Whoops, that was off camera. I'm so sorry. Right there, I just pop the little sloth down. On Wednesday, I grabbed these little basket sheets from, um, these little grocery baskets from Mr. and Mrs. Mint. They're in, um, Puerto Rico, I believe, and they've only actually just reopened after, like, the hurricanes and all that have been through, so go check them out. They've got a standalone website. They've got a lot of, um, really cool, like, hand-drawn stuff, and they've also got a whole stack of, um, religious stuff, too, so if you're religious and looking for stickers, um, they've got a huge range, and I believe their shipping to Australia is quite reasonable, um... Yeah, I actually got a um, one a loop giveaway a couple of years back, and they were in the shop, and I actually had a hard time like trying to find stickers that were non-religious, just because like it wasn't really like what I was like into. So I actually um, noticed they had a lot of religious stickers. So if that's what you're into, like if that's you know your jam, then you might want to go look at, look them up. They um, have just opened. They took some time off after the hurricane to just chill and regroup and everything like that. So for collecting my fruit and veg, I'm just going to put like a little fox and cactus girl down. For my Simply Gilded sub, I'm going to use a, this is a fairly big sticker and it's new to my collection. I just hauled it recently. A washi stack from uh, Marshmallow Studios. They have very nice paper. I'm going to pop it. I'm probably going to have to trim it a little bit, I think, unless I angle it like that. Oh, that works. Just to say that my Simply Gilded bill will be coming out soon. My new release is on the Friday. Uh, what have I done here? Uh, I don't know. Why have I put an extra one? Oh, that's planning get righto. New releases, I'm gonna use like their paper clip, their chubby like bow clip. And I'm just gonna pop that down over here to mark new releases. I could have used like one of the bows from the kit, but that matches really well, so I thought, why not? And I wanted to use it because it was new. Um, oh, I didn't place those very well. Oh well. Um, I'm gonna use a little, one of these little like sweaty bombs from Once More With Love. I'm just gonna pop that there. And yes, I know I've got two stickers in a row on the coil, but nobody likes writing against the coil. Um, for like reminders of things to do this week, I'm just gonna put like a, a um, Coffee Monsters Co. girl holding her like dirty sock up to remind me to do the damn laundry because Terry's forever leaving his dirty socks on the house <laughs> and I'm also going to grab like a hair washing girl to remind myself to wash my damn hair and then I need to go back and figure out what else I've forgotten to get stickers for okay I need cleaner stickers and what else on Friday 
and dollar signs. Cleaner stickers and dollar signs. And cleaner stickers and dollar signs. Alright, I'll be back. Alright, that was relatively easy because they were towards the front of my book. So, I've got these cleaning stickers from um, Fox and Cactus. Because my cleaner comes this fourth week and I'm very excited about that. So we're going to pop her there. And then I've got these, um, this sheet from Stash Sticker Club. And I don't think Jessie's, Jess, Jessie, shoot, I think it's Jess. I don't think she's back open yet, but she's working very hard to be back open. I've had these for ages. I'm just going to grab these like dollar signs from down the bottom here. That's right. This is her old paper and it's really thick, but I believe her new paper is thinner. And I'm just going to pop these like dollar signs here. I actually don't have a lot of dollar signs. I know I've got foiled ones, but that's about it. They're hard to come by. So these will fit quite well in my spread. All right, now on to deco. Just quickly, because I've got about a few minutes left before I have to, oh my God, where is that page? There it is. Before I have to be anywhere. And some white out for this corner alarms that are on my phone so it'll go mental when I have to start getting ready to leave. I have to go to the optometrist this morning and the bank and all those fun places. So deco. All this deco is actually fairly similar size which is nice. I don't know back on the topic of like plan of resolutions or anything if I have a plan of resolution I just think I'm gonna like go with the flow see what happens you know isn't that what most people do I don't want to put myself under any pressure to change when I don't feel ready to I think that's a good way to look at it I suppose There's no method to this madness. It is just happening. I'll be back. 